Hello everyone and welcome to Fonch. In a brand new tutorial we will be teaching you how to design an aesthetic and simple travel website using Figma. Our focus will be on creating a website that is not only visually appealing but also user friendly by using attractive fonts and colors that will enhance the website's overall look and feel. Let's not waste any more time and let's start designing. Okay, let's get started with this project. First, what you want to do is you want to go into this video's description and copy the start pack files and uh, Figma and just paste them into your Figma file. So I'm gonna do it. Here we go. So we're using uh, just a logo. We're, we define the textiles here that we need to be using. We just have two colors, so it's that simple. And we have a background image right here. So let's start designing. Let's name this file travel landing page here we go let's uh create a frame we have frames here so you make sure to select the desktop frame right here there we go let's name this frame landing page here we go okay let's uh grab the background here real quick so just copy it select your frame and just paste here make sure to put it in the center there we go Okay, what this uh, background image needs right now is it needs a tint. So we're going to create one. You can just create a rectangle into your frame, just like this. You can click R, get a rectangle, and you can give this rectangle a black color. And you can set this to 20% and it will uh, slightly make the background image darker. There we go. But what you can do now is you can select it, select it and just lock it right here. So whenever you work with the elements in your frame, you're not accidentally moving the image or the rectangle that uh, creates this uh, type of tint to your background. There we go. Okay, let's start, start working on the navigation now. So create the frame here, make it 70 pixels. And expand it all the way. There we go. Let's give it a fill for the moment. And select your landing page frame and let's give it a layout grid. Want columns 12 and want a margin of 48 and a gutter of uh, 24. There we go. Okay. Let's grab our logo. So just copy your logo. And we're going to be using Lexand for the paragraphs and description. We're going to be using Meriwether for the heading. So we need Lexand for the navigation links. We can remove the fill for the moment and just paste your logo. Make sure it's aligned in the grid. It's centered. There we go. Okay, let's start designing the navigation links. So. Let's uh, write them up here. So the first one is destinations. Destinations, there we go. So we're using Lexend for this one. 16 pixels. Or we can go with 18 maybe. Yeah, well, let's go with 18. Want them to be a little bit uh, bigger. And let's copy this. Make sure to center them in text align center. And this should be experiences. Copy it one more time. Offers. And about us. And the last should be a button. So let's place it right here. Book a trip. Okay, we're going to be needing an icon here. So let's go to your plugins, right click, and you can select feather icons. If you don't have this plugin, you can go to find more plugins and just write feather icons and just select this plugin. And we're going to be needing a chevron down. So this one, just click on it. And you're here. Copy it because it's not in your frame, it's not going to be pasted into your frame. Just select this navigation, just paste it right here. There we go. Now we can scale it to 16 pixels, and it's a little bit uh, too big, too wide for this uh, case. And we can just uh, 
reduce the stroke here so 1.4 and there we go looking good now and let's place it next to destinations align them both vertically and let's give them a four pixels of spacing and select them both and just group them let's give this a white color here okay now you can select all your navigation links and just uh, align them and you want to distribute the horizontal spacing and 40 pixels there we go now you can group them there we go and let's align them perfectly into our navigation both top and bottom and left and right looking good okay let's design the button right now so what you want to do to this text is you want to add all the layout so shift a to do that and let's give it uh, eight pixels vertical padding and uh, 16 on the sides let's place it right in the grid let's give it a fill and we want to grab this primary color right here this attractive orange and let's add it here let's disable the grid okay that looks good only thing we can do is we can uh, reduce the font size here to 16 thing. it's a little bit too big so make sure to adjust this accordingly let's select all of these and distribute horizontal spacing and 40 pixels there we go we need to experiment to see what works best so i'm doing this live on the videos so you can see the process of creating these types of uh, designs let's enable the grid holding control shift 4 there we go and now we should place this in the grid align it there we go let's give it um only eight pixels of corner radius okay that's looking good okay let's enable the grid one more time and you can create a line here click l and make sure to pull it all the way through the whole design there we go let's disable the grid select your line and let's select the color from the image right here so let's select something random here this and we can find something that will work so make sure to experiment on your own as well let's type 75 here you just thin the line let's go towards the blue a little bit something like this should be sufficient there we go that's looking good okay now we can create the title the description and the call to action button so let's click t and for textiles we're using meriwether for the headings let's uh do it let's write up the, the content here so explore epic destinations and meet exciting people let's write meriwether here all the fills that's great Align it to the left and let's give it a font size of 48 pixels. Let's enable the grid here. I want to place it on the second column. Perfect. Okay, let's write up the description below it. So, help people find the best destinations and offer. This should be at the top. Let's uh, on destinations and offer even better experiences and adventures. Let's go. It should be Lexand. So we're using Lexand for descriptions and give it 18 pixels. This we want this to be slightly bigger. There we go. And for Hex color we're going to be using f1 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 so copy the hex code and just write it manually if you wish let's uh, give this uh 24 pixels of uh, spacing there we go let's uh, create a button now so write explore trips and there we go you can add all the layout right now and just add 12 pixels here and uh 
by 16 and uh, 24 sides give it a fill and you can select this color from the bottom it's the same primary color primary color okay 16 is a little bit too much let's try 12 but yeah that should work let's give it eight pixels corner radius and 32 pixels space from the description so it's 32 already so that's perfect let's select all three elements and align them to the left and group them there we go let's uh line it to the center and we want this to be slightly up so we want it to be 260 pixels let's try to 40 yeah to 40 as well okay there we go okay now what you want to do is you want to check how further away is this from the frame so it's 162 pixels so we need to remember that you'll see why Okay, what you can do now is you want to disable this grid. There we go, Control Shift 4, and we want to add another grid here. And we want this grid, columns, and we want three, three of them. And the 164 margin, if I remember correctly, 162, okay. 162, and we want the gutter to be um, 80 pixels. There we go, but the other grid is showing as well. Let's try to fix this. Hmm. I don't know why it's showing as well. I tried to move it completely. Still showing, so that should be because uh, we have um, drill down to the see what's causing this issue hmm. yes yeah, background image here so the background image has a uh as well so you can disable it there we go enable the three columns one okay now we have three columns and we will have content in each of them and the edges so let's write up the content so we want a zero one here we want this to be meriwether so meriwether and let's give it 32 pixels of uh, font size perfect okay uh, let's write up the content below it we want it to be in lexan so we'll change it select your type of adventure Oops. lexand and we want this to be 18 pixels and there we go let's copy this one more time and we want this to be 16 pixels Let's write up here the content. Browse, browse hundreds offers our website and choose the best one for you. Let's align it to the left. Align this to the left as well. And this as well. Let's give this a spacing of uh, 12 pixels. And let's give this a spacing of 8 pixels. And we want this to be light. And there we go. Let's try a filler. Let's add the uh, X color F1, F1, F1. And there we go. Mm, let's go with light. Light, it looks good. Let's uh, group this. Enable our grid. Again. let's copy this and place it on the grid this should be zero two let's write up the title here book your trips date and select the date of your trip and select all the essentials for your trip let's copy it one more time 
Um, this should be get ready. An adventure. Uh, let's write the description here. That's it. Pack your clothes and don't get your spirit of war adventure. There we go. Select all of these and just group them and you want to place them approximately 64 pixels from the bottom. There we go. Let's disable the grid. And we have a travel website right here. So that's it pretty much guys for this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You learned something new. And hopefully you know how to design uh, travel websites and you got some inspiration from this video. So thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.